Greetings to Paul and welcome to the 16-inch softball Hall of Fame. We're located in Forest Park. This is George Bliss. We're going to give you a short tour of one of Chicago's greatest museums. This is the Inductee Plaza in Forest Park and you have all the plaques of all of the old great players and modern day players, broadcasters, women's teams, etc. One of the great things to watch here is the bricks we have dedicated to all the players for many years that played this great game of 16 inch softball. The Inductee Plaza at Forest Park. We're inside the Hall of Fame now and here's the classic boxing glove. The game was started about 130 years ago at the Farragut Boat Club when somebody took a broomstick, hit that boxing glove, and that was the start of 16-inch softball. You'll see our museum piece here where we have all kinds of timeline photos, etc., in the history of 16-inch softball. So when you get a chance after this crazy COVID thing, come on out and see what we have set up for the fans right here. And there's the great clincher ball. There it is. That was built by De Beer in the 1930s. Hey, everybody. A little uh, history on some of these softballs here, possibly back from the 30s on with the top notch. It's very popular back then. Wilson come out with the Windy City was played in a lot of park districts. We had the gold dot. We had the official ASA ball here. We had the McGregor ball, which was used in the park district when I was a kid in the 60s and the 70s. Graduated up to the clinchers. And they had some Windy City balls, and then the Wilson come in with some of their balls, but still you ended up with the clinchers where we are today. And now we're giving you a little bit of the preview of some of the individual kiosks that we have here at the Hall of Fame. This one right here is dedicated to the African-American community who's added so much to the game of 16-inch softball. And you can see now we're going to pan over and this particular kiosk is dedicated to the Forest Park No Glove National Championship Tournament, which has been going on for well over 50 years now and is considered the premier no glove major national championship in the country. Some of the best players ever have played in it. And then moving over, what a lot of people don't realize is way back uh, in the beginning of 16 in softball, 60s, 70s, there was a huge industrial league that used to play out of Grant Park. And all of the major corporations had ball clubs in there like Molex, uh, you know, some of the Natural Gas United, Northern Trust. Uh, so that was always a great league uh, out in Grant Park. So we have one there. And, of course, we have this kiosk dedicated to women's softball and as George Bliss pans down you'll see there's a photograph there and that was a softball game that was played between women's teams that was jam-packed you can see it looks like they had about seven eight thousand people out maybe more watching the game so uh, even back in the day 16 inch softball was very popular with women and you can see we've got some of the jerseys and other memorabilia from that era so those are just some of the kiosks that you'll see here at the 16 inch softball hall of fame hi good afternoon DePaul this is Frank Lentin and I am a graduate of DePaul I even have my masters from DePaul and all I can tell you about softball what softball means to me you're going to see some nice, unbelievable things about the game that Chicago invented, but also it's something that you could play all the way up into your 80s if you wanted to, because it's a great game to really be together, build friendships for life, and also a lot of competition. So I really appreciate you guys t taking the time to visit us when you get a chance. Come on out, and we'll give you a whole thing on how to play the game, and make sure you're playing at the highest level you can possibly can. Because softball means an awful lot to me because that gave me my start going to DePaul. Yes, sir. Well, DePaul, Blue Demons, thanks for watching here. This is George Bliss at the 16-inch Softball Hall of Fame in Forest Park, Illinois. And we hope to see you real soon. Go DePaul, play softball. It's the greatest game in America.
Okay. <laughs> That's not what they do, you Paul students. Always two hands though, wide if you can. You gotta extend the fingers open, like flat palm. Yeah, got it. What about a ground ball? Let's see you. Let's see you take a ground ball. Go ahead. Ground ball. Ground ball. <laughs> you gotta tell me. Give us a ground ball, coach. Let me get a ground ball here. Just one more. Three balls, one strike. Play. Feel it, Chris. So a young kid, not that familiar to signature, Smuda was cheating him a little bit in the air mail at about 15, 20 feet over his head. I thought he was going to run bomb and signatures. Hey, you're the only set of prisons that makes that play. And they take a 6 to 3 lead here in the top of the set. Remember that?